Hello you and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am very excited to show you and so excited for this brand new series of videos that I am going to show you because this will all be centered around uh, proper posture. How to uh, gain proper posture um, when you are seated especially because that's the time usually when people tend to do slouching and that's when you probably will get some neck pain some back pain and some you know pain that usually goes through the legs other people pay, will have pain on the shoulders as well with me just sitting down in here it is pretty much like an ideal sitting position um, but the question is how long uh, anybody can maintain this position because I myself will not be able to do that. This series, I probably will explain to you about some of the exercises that you can do to maintain the posture. And I'm going to show you as well, like how bad posture looks like. I have seen this with a lot of my patients and I've seen some positive response to it, but I'm also seeing some negative response to it. A lot of this uh, reasons is that they don't have time to do exercises they don't have time to you know maintain that posture because it's very tiring for them totally understand that but you know there are some things that you can do that you can incorporate your day um, even while you're while while you are working um, you don't necessarily have to think that you are exercising so you know what we're just gonna forget about the word exercises because it kind of like gives a little bit of um, I don't know like it makes you feel like you're already tired just with just by the word exercise it's like it's like a ton of work but you know these are like some of the stretches some a little bit of a strengthening that you can incorporate in your daily activities whether you are in your office or whether you are your student especially because you'll be like writing a lot or just like on a day-to-day -day basis so I am excited to start this this series and I hope that you will follow through all the way to the end so you learn you gain some knowledge on how to do it okay so I switch into a more uh, stable chair because the, the couch is a, a little bit way too soft to kind of like demonstrate exactly what I'm going to uh, show to you. Now, what do we mean by bad posture? Okay, so these are the kind of posture that is most comfortable to everyone, which is slouching. Slouching means if I have to go to the side, As you can see, uh, it's like my back is rounded and then my hips is tilted towards that way. My pelvis is tilted towards that way. And it's just so comfortable. You know, I myself find it comfortable. Okay, and then in a while, usually you start like this. And because my feet is not flat on the floor, I could be like, okay, I'm adjusting to it. So I'm kind of like leaning back, but still you're slouching. Especially when you have like a laptop or you have something to do, students like this, there's a table, they're like writing. Okay, so when you look at that posture, it does look like, you know, you're starting to get rounded back. And then along that line, you also have rounded shoulder, okay? And then your pelvis tends to like push towards the back. So if a good posture is like this so from here to here you will see your spine on the neck part is the curve is towards that way now on this on this part the curve is more towards the back but not really that's like way too much and then the lower back is oriented towards the front so it's like an s curve if you look at it on the side that's normally what we call the normal curvature of the spine. Now, when you're slouching, 
it becomes like a C curve. You lose that S curve, it becomes a C curve. And what happens is that there will be like, in no time, the your spine is kind of like, will adjust to it. So the muscles here on the front, you get a little bit more tightness to it. Especially when you are slouching, you will not be looking at like that. You'll be looking like this. You steal those forward head uh, posture like this, okay? And what happens is that the, the muscles here on the neck part gets really like stretch out, okay? like from here down but the muscles here on the like on the hairline it gets really tight so like this people are not just paying attention to it because you know especially when we are busy getting on with our life and all but in no time you will accumulate that muscular imbalance within the front and the back there are a lot of muscles that we are going to be talking about, but we'll just do it like um, one by one. A lot of you wanted me to focus more on the, the lower back at first. Some of you also requested for the neck part. But um, understanding what the proper posture looks like would be the first step in addressing that pain that you have uh, felt. From, from yourself. So I was just showing you some of the examples of bad posture and good posture when you are sitting. When you are standing, okay? Um, if I will be standing a little bit feet uh, apart, um, shoulder levels, head face forward, uh, pelvis level, knees level, as well as the ankle. At this point in time, I'm wearing the proper shoes, so my feet is not going in that way. I know that. Okay, so this is how I would look like, ideally in a perfect world. But when I go to the side, I have a plumb, plumb line or imaginary line from the, from the ceiling all the way to the floor that bisects uh, on the side of my body. It will go from the from the tip of the head, goes through my ear, goes to the tip of my shoulder, goes to the bodies here, to my hip joint, to my knee joint, all the way to the ankle joint, okay? So um, this is how it would look like. So we're always like on our phone. So the head is already tilted forward, okay? Sometimes it's good if the shoulder is just like pushed back. I always like to do that, but some are like this, okay? Bent on one knee, the other knee is like straight now, okay? It's rarely people will be doing like this, unless if you're looking for signal, but it's usually just like that. So your head is already like way beyond uh, that imaginary line, so your body will think that your head is gonna fall forward. Your head, our head, is about 15 pounds or something. Or like they always compare it like those uh, jug of milk. That's how heavy your head is. So when you are in this position, the muscles here on the back will try so hard to pull your head back because like I said you'll think that it's gonna fall forward so over time that muscle is gonna be like so tight because it's always like stretched anyways and then this muscle here in the front will get tight as well here I mean tight but it's like a stretch type of uh, tightness and then here is like a compressed type of tightness normally how people would uh, you know would be would look like especially in this generation right now that everyone will be walking with their phones on phones with their, they're looking at their phones so all the time that forward and posture that's pretty much like the culprit of any everything that's 
you are going to feel that pain from here and sometimes it could go all the way towards your arms and to your hand so a lot of uh, things could go wrong with that because the nerves are coming out from your neck that supplies some of the muscles here um, to the upper chest, upper back and also to the arms so that's where you people will start to feel some pain but a lot of those has to do with faulty posture because you may get some compression of the nerves uh, from here on the specific, uh, some muscles also here on the pectorals muscle like even before people will get the carpal tunnel syndrome that we are going to talk about as well um, as we go along with this series okay so stay tuned okay so at this point uh, i guess that's just the first part of the series regarding the management for the back and some of its symptoms of pain and discomfort next time it is all about doing some exercises so we would be able to try to like correct that um faulty posture i keep on saying faulty posture but that like not ideal posture most of us are doing i hope to see you on the next part of the series